love orange so much. <music> Welcome to my channel today. We're doing another Fenty video. As you guys know, I've been doing Fenty videos this whole week because the new cream blushes and the cream bronzers came out and I've been thoroughly reviewing them, but I haven't actually worn them together doing like a full face makeup look yet. So I wanted to do that and I also got out some of the other newer products that have recently come out. So I have the glow skin stick i reviewed this one and then i have the cognac candy still don't know how to pronounce that but the new highlighter the new matchstick the new cream blushes cream bronzers and we're gonna play around i also have some requests uh to do my foundation routine that i've been doing with the cream bronzers and the cream blushes on camera for you guys so we're gonna get right on into this. I do wanna do a look that is more like springy and glowy, dewy, fresh. So hopefully we can achieve that today. But I'm gonna take the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, the original one. <clears throat> We're running low. <laughs> I hate when this happens. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I just take the Instant Retouch Primer. This one is like the perfect medium. I have the other two primers, but for some reason I just can't stop using the original one. This one I feel like it adds the just the right amount of hydration for my skin and just the right amount of like blurring and like a weird pore feeling pore filling, especially with my combination skin. You guys know it's like all over the place right now. And then after I prime, I use the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I wear the shade 120 and I do this one a little weird. So I'm gonna take out about a pump and a half on the back of my hand. And then whoop, I'm gonna take the uh, 115 foundation brush. I think it's called the buffing foundation brush. I don't know. But I basically go and I kind of stamp it around and spread it. I know this is super weird. But I find that this makes it work for me. I don't know. So after I stamped it around, then I'm going to go in and really start buffing out this foundation and blending it into my skin and then after i have pretty much all of it buffed out then i take a beauty sponge this is a rimmel london one i've been obsessed with this one and i just go through and kind of blend out any lines and kind of remove any excess excess product and then i'm gonna take the pro filter instant retouch concealer in the shade 150 and I'm gonna do my under eyes where the darkness is. And I'm also gonna put just a little bit on my actual eyelid. And then I take the 180 concealer brush by Fenty and I go in and I pretty much do the same things I did with the foundation is I go in and I kind of like pat it out where I want it. And then with the concealer, Dealer kind of left over on the brush. I just go over any little spots that I'd like to add up just a teensy bit more coverage. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the sponge again and just run it under my eyes, smooth everything out, and going over my eyelids as well. And I feel like this just kind of like sets everything in place. You know, I could have sworn I got the Fenty sponge at some point and I really don't know what happened to it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter and the 170 Setting Brush. And I'm just gonna pick it up on the brush and kind of just go in like a rolling motion. 
and lightly set like where I get oily throughout the day. This one, does, this foundation does not control my oils very well. And then just to do a little bit more of like precision setting, I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. It doesn't have a number on it, but it just kind of going a little closer around my nose, right up against my lash line. And then I'm gonna do my cheeks before I do my eyes. So I'm gonna start off with the cheeks out cream bronzer in number one amber and I'm gonna use this one to contour with and just put it right in the hollows of my cheekbones working it back into my hairline I'm still so obsessed with this brush and I'm also gonna put a little bit on my jawline right here. And then I'm gonna take this shade number two, Butter Biscuit, and I'm gonna bronze with this one and blend it into amber. I loved that look that I did the other day with all the bronzers. I thought that looked so bomb. I was really not expecting the bronzer to work out that well through, like with, wearing all brown, but it actually turned out a lot better than what I was expecting. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the concealer brush and I'm gonna take this down the sides of my nose. I always like to put bronzer instead of like amber on my nose. I find that I, I don't know, cool tones just look kind of strange on my nose. I think it's because I tend to get a little red on my nose so when things are like more on the cool tone side it just doesn't really look bright <laughs> all right now for the blush i'm first gonna take number 10 rose latte and i'm gonna put this right on my cheekbones and then blending it into the bronzer dang so far this is looking bomb and then i'm gonna take fuego blush i just can't stop using this one i'm gonna put it on this like temple area i've been really liking doing this i don't know why but for some reason this area i love that like warmth so far this is working out really well even with the powder it's not balling up weird it's not removing my foundation. And then I'm gonna take the Pearl Glow Skin Stick, Matchstick, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna take a little on my finger and work it down on my nose, kind of add some dewiness on my cheekbones. And then just gonna pat it out. Even this works pretty well over top of it. I was a little afraid it was gonna remove it. All right, we're looking good. Now we're gonna work on the eyeballs and I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So I'm gonna take the Fenty eyeshadow primer and put this right on top of my concealer and then just go and pat it out, blend it in. All right, now that I got my eyes primed, I'm gonna use the Fenty Cream blush in Fuego blush lit, <laughs> the orange one. And I'm gonna use this as kind of like an eye base to add some color because I do want something a little bit more on the peachy side. All right, now that I got that on, I'm gonna take the Snap Shadow number five palette in peach. Look at this. I'm gonna take this shade first. I believe it is Peach Me. Kind of do the same thing I did in my last video and just kind of use this one as a transition shade to blend the eyeshadow primer and the blush together. And then I'm gonna take Bellany Baby, the shimmer. I hope these are right. <laughs> and I'm gonna pack this all over the lid oh my goodness this shade looks stunning whoa this shade looks so freaking pretty 
And then I'm gonna take that first shade and I'm gonna blend it underneath my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take Churro and I'm just gonna go through and kind of deepen everything up and add that like hint of orange. And then I'm gonna take the Cosmic Candy highlighter or Diamond Balm number three and I'm gonna use this to highlight my inner corner. Ooh, ooh. And then getting into another new product from Fenty. These are the Fenty Beauty eyeliners. I'm gonna take the shade Poppy Eyes, which is a brown with a little bit of gold glitter in it. And I'm gonna pretty much do a wing with this. I think some brown eyeliner would look really pretty but I don't have brown eyeliner that's a liquid. And just as an update with these, these are still insanely creamy and pigmented. All right, now I'm just gonna put some, I'm gonna do my mascara and brows real quick off camera. So I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP and Dark Ash Blonde and the Full Frontal mascara by Fenty. All right, eyes and cheeks are done. Finishing touch is the lips. So I'm gonna take the Mademoiselle lipstick in Pumpkin Rose. And then I'm gonna take the Cheeks Out blush in Fuego Flush. And I'm just gonna get a little bit. I love orange so much. And this is the completed Fenty Face Fresh Summer Glowy peachy look using pretty much all of their new products so let me know how you liked it all the product worked really well together that's my favorite thing about Fenty is that everything from Fenty works so well with each other if you like layering if you like cream products if you like being really creative mix matching stuff like even the snap shadows I mean like you can snap them together, bring two palettes, the cream blushes layer really nicely with each other. There's a lot of different combinations you can do with the blushes. The cream bronzers are the same way. The highlighters, the match sticks. I mean, like, look at my little honeycomb I got going on over here. Super happy. I'm a huge Fenty fan. I love orange. I love how this look came out. I think my skin looks glowy and fresh and springy but that is it for this video if you guys are ever wondering all of my Fenty videos are all in one playlist on my channel it's all things Fenty every review tutorial that I do with Fenty I put it into that playlist so if there's anything that I use in today's video that you want to check out as like the foundation review highlighter review swatching all of the Fenty eyeliners is all in one playlist and I'm gonna put that playlist right over here for you guys this video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here click on it and subscribe to my channel